Hey, Pangapsamida. When I first came to Korea, I was getting sick all the time. And not only that, but the intensity of the cold or the flu or whatever it was, was just way greater than back home. I mean, the sore throats that I would get, it would literally feel like I had just been gargling with molten lava. And I remember I would always, even back home, I'm always thinking, man, I just wish I could kill this thing and I wouldn't have to wait for it to run its course. Because, you know, from the time it starts and you're thinking, uh-oh, something's up, I think I'm getting sick, to when it's really gone, you know, you're talking seven to ten days from start to finish. And I was, I'm always wishing, geez, I wish I could just cut that time in half and just not have to suffer. So one thing that I always uh, did, even back home, um, and I brought it here with me. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to talk about is a neti pot. This is a neti pot. Maybe you've heard of them before. And basically a neti pot is, looks like a little teapot. <clears throat> you put warm water in there and some salt. Uh, and you make salt water. So you've probably heard of gargling with salt water before and how that helps your sore throat. But basically what you do with this is you put this warm salt water in there, you put this part here up to your nose, you tilt your head, and you irrigate your whole sinus. Sounds a little bit funky, but uh, it's a it's very popular for natural healer type people, uh, organic, um, do-it-yourself type of healing type of people. And if you gargle salt water, you're going to know that this works. It's It's the same premise as if you go to a doctor to get an IV, and when they put the IV thing in your arm, a lot of times they will send a shot of uh, saline water through it to sanitize it, to kill all the germs and everything before they shoot you up with whatever they're going to shoot you up with. So this is the same premise. And it's really awesome because first it's sanitizing everything, killing the germs, and helping the healing process, but it also feels really good. So if you have a stuffed up nose, it's going to uh, re relieve that. It's going to make you be able to breathe freely. Conversely, if you have a really runny nose, post-nasal drip, it cleans it all out and it kind of dries it up a little bit because of the salt and it really just everything feels fresh so it really helps to cut the healing process uh, down it's a little different than say if you buy drugs at the uh, drugstore you know the over-the-counter stuff where it's just kind of lessening the effect of the symptoms this is really um, helping the healing process the second big thing is this right here what is this I was on a Skype call with a friend back home and they said to me, yeah, you know, you should give hydrogen peroxide a shot. I'm like, hydrogen peroxide? How's that work? Whenever I get sick, it's always the exact same way. What happens is I start to feel like I have water in my ear. I'm like, oh, I got water in my ear. Man, this water won't come out of my ear. And then before I know it, it moves into my nose really hard and it feels like someone's driving a nail into my sinus. And it's at that point where I know it's all downhill. I'm going to be sick for a while. And you take the hydrogen peroxide and you put it in your ears. You kind of tilt your head, you dump it in your ear, you leave it in there for five minutes, you dump it out, clean your ear out, and do the other one. Uh, some people do this for swimmer's ear, like if you get water caught in your ear and you don't want it to be infected, or if it is infected, people will do that. And it's kind of up in the air, but for me it makes perfect sense because uh, you have your ear, nose, throat doctors out there, and a lot of people theorize that uh, viruses enter the body through your ear and not your nose and mouth so much. For me, that's definitely the case because I feel the thing in my ear. I'm, I got water in me or something's up. And if I just let it slide thinking that it's water, bang, it hits my sinuses. This right here is a miracle game changer. I kid you not. If you're the, the time when you're actually sick, like if your full time is like 10 days, but the time when you're dying is like, say, five or six days, this will cut it at least in half, if not more. This is hydrogen peroxide that I bought here in Korea. It's 35 percent, so you're going to water, want to water it down. This one right here, I bought when I was on vacation in Cambodia. Same thing happened. I was so tired from the jet lag and everything. My body was completely run down. Bang! That night, I could feel it. It hit me hard, probably because I was in a foreign country again. My nose felt like somebody put a hot iron burning rod right up into my sinus, and it was downhill quick. So I ran out to a pharmacy, and I got one of these things, and I put it in two or three times. Within one or two days, it was gone. It literally stops it in its tracks, and then 
makes it go away. It's not like, oh, it makes it feel better so you don't have to suffer as much. It's killing it, and then all your symptoms retract. You don't get the, the wicked uh, after effects, and you're not going to suffer as long. Miracle game changer, hydrogen peroxide in your ear. Give it a shot um, if you're uh, brave enough to give it a try. And it feels a little funky when you put it in your ear, but trust me, it really is a miracle. And in a place like Korea right now with the MERS thing going on, uh, it might not be a bad idea to flush out your ears once in a while. At a minimum, maybe flush out your nose because it is a respiratory virus. Anyway, two tips for you. Maybe it'll help you. It has definitely changed my life for good. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Out.